Due to its considerable contribution to the World Bank funds, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has managed to play a central role in formulating World Bank policies in the region. In recent years, and through its aid to the Palestinian people, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has established a strong partnership with the World Bank. Through this affiliation, a total of 93 million US dollars has been dispersed on projects in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The World Bank granted good service to the Palestinian people and to the Saudi Fund for Development. It is a bank with a great experience and employs the best human resources. We are happy. This is one of the projects funded by Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom contributes to projects in water, health, education and road construction. With a sum of $300 million, this includes hospitals, clinics, schools and housing. Through the World Bank First Emergency Rehabilitation Project, ERP-1, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has contributed a total of 30 million US dollars. With this contribution, a total of 37 projects have been fully implemented, 21 of which are roads and 16 of which are water and wastewater projects. The World Bank had uh, certain problems itself working in the West Bank. We designed programs for emergency help in water, wastewater, roads, clinics, and education. Saudi Arabia was among the very first to come and join us in partnership and provide funding for projects in, in the West Bank. And this was something which was much appreciated. One of the most remarkable achievements of the Saudi contribution is the construction of Salah al Din Road in the Gaza Strip. The Kingdom has taken the lead amongst other donors by contributing a total of 10 million US dollars to this road. Salah al Din Road has greatly improved access for many Gazan inhabitants. It has also facilitated movement of goods and enhanced commercial and economic activities within the Gaza Strip. Inhabitants from more than 21 cities, villages and refugee camps in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip have benefited from the construction of these projects. The developmental impact on the economic, social and environmental conditions in the local community is strikingly apparent. Education and health are of paramount importance in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. As a result, the Kingdom granted 20 million US dollars to education and health sectors through the World Bank Education and Health Rehabilitation Project, known as EHRP. The grant is being used for the construction of schools, clinics, hospitals and hospital expansion. The grant will also be used to equip the schools and hospitals with furniture and medical supplies in the health facilities. Without the Saudi's aid and other countries, especially the Saudi support, we could not solve the problem of education. Education was about to collapse in Palestine. We did not have the funds when we started our work. We are not totally independent, politically and economically, so support was essential. Our priority was to build schools and then the technical issues such as syllabus and training, etc. We moved from a stage to a totally different one. 
Now we have large rooms and halls. We have good light, drinking water, and playgrounds for the girls so they can play without hurting themselves. Now it's really different condition. We have lecturing halls and first aid. We have a good lab, thank God. We became the most beautiful school in the Nablus region. It was a tragic condition, uncomfortable for the girls and teachers or even anybody. We suffered a lot due to the shortage of resources in the school. Classes were jammed with girls, three to four girls in one desk. Teachers couldn't teach properly. You can imagine 50 girls in a class. In 45 minutes, a teacher couldn't do anything. Our labs were very badly equipped. The household class was bad too. Cleaning was bad too. We suffered of water leakage in winter. Classes used to be puddles of water and the girls had to pump it out and to clean the classes. When we moved to this place, we felt relaxed. The right number of girls in the classes. The teacher can teach in a better condition and have the right time to deliver the information. In addition to that, it's clean and hygienic. We have everything and it's better condition. Thank God. This young girl is one of 10,500 students in the West Bank and Gaza who has benefited from the Saudi grant. The grant has already enabled 11 new fully furnished schools in the West Bank and Gaza to be constructed, which amounts to 147 classrooms, as well as laboratories, general and administration rooms and libraries. Furthermore, another five schools are currently under construction. By the time they'll be completed, the total number of students benefiting from the Saudi grant will increase to 13,000. This represents an enormous contribution to the education sector in fulfilling the rising enrollment demand as well as to improving the quality of education. Under the health component of EHRP, the Saudi grant has so far financed the construction, furnishing and equipment in three clinics, two in the Gaza Strip and one in the West Bank. Furthermore, construction is underway of a community hospital and a clinic in Gaza and is progressing well. Recently contracts to construct an expansion for the Rafida Hospital and a new hospital in the West Bank have been signed. Both hospitals will be fully operational in the next 15 months. In 12 months' time, we will be able to inform our people with the good news. We will have a surgery floor from Tagdor, funded by Saudi Arabia. It will be a 31-bed capacity. This will decrease the waiting list and facilitate our outpatient clinic. We will be able to receive patients from the North West Bank. Of course, there will be relaxation because we have lots of patients on the waiting list. It's a long list. Frankly, the waiting list can sometimes extend to six months. So far, the total number of beneficiaries under the health component is estimated at 120,000 inhabitants. Once the other facilities currently under construction will be completed and operational, this number will rise to approximately 400,000. This represents a highly significant contribution to the health sector and to the improvement of the quality of the health service delivery system, as well as to the quality of living conditions of inhabitants served by these facilities. 
in many, many villages, uh, we had situations where, um, as an example, uh, younger girls could not go to school because there was no proper transportation for them. Doctors could not come and provide mothers with proper care before and after they had their children. And these uh, women had difficulties leaving the village. Uh, and now we find, just because there happens to be a good access road, that all of these things now are made possible. Much of this work was done with the assistance of Saudi Arabia. And as you know, you go anywhere in the West Bank and Gaza, you see the green signs that Pekdar established. And if you look uh, and see, you'll see many, many of these signs, literally hundreds of them, which bear the name Saudi Arabia and give a testament to how that money made a change in the daily life uh, of the Palestinian people really everywhere in the West Bank and, and, and Gaza. Another aspect of Saudi aid to the Palestinians is its contribution to the Hulst Fund. To date, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has contributed 40 million US dollars to the Hulst Fund, which has enabled the Palestinian Authority to establish its own institutions and to create employment during the time when its borders are closed. Through this fund, more than 3 million workdays have been generated through labor-intensive programs. 50 years ago, King Abdelaziz recommended his sons and government to support the Palestinian people. All our officials are working hard to implement this well. The support of the kingdom, government and people to the Palestinians will continue. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has great faith in the vital role that non-governmental organizations can play in responding to the community's needs. Consequently, it has contributed over two and a half million US dollars through the World Bank NGO project. This contribution is allocated for the poor and marginalized segments of Palestinian society. To date, more than 60 sub-projects have been implemented. The nature of these projects varies from supporting disabled centers to funding rehabilitation programs for students with special needs and to combating illiteracy in society. The World Bank programs have been able to generate a far greater impact on the life of West Bank and Gazan inhabitants thanks to this partnership and to the generous Saudi contribution. One could say that the Saudi support to the Palestinians, in partnership with the World Bank, has helped them slowly to recover from the serious problems that resulted from a long occupation and from a lack of basic resources. With the many roads, sewage and water networks and modern health facilities being constructed, health and environmental conditions have improved by leaps and bounds. In addition, thousands of students can now attend modern schools after suffering for so long because of classroom shortages. People with special needs now have a light of hope in a long dark tunnel after having been victimized for three decades because of the political circumstances in the region. The World Bank wishes to thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for this valuable and fruitful partnership and looks forward to continue enhancing and strengthening it through future projects.